Christmas, that magic time of year where birds seem to fly higher and the out-of-season apples taste even sweeter. That's until you remember you're in Victoria and you have to deal with four seasons in one day. But that dark cloud over there, that's not going to dampen our spirits. As today, I'm cooking up some show-stopping dishes for a Christmas feast at Punt Road Winery in Coldstream. It's a family-owned vineyard that hosts Victoria's longest-running farmer's market. And it's also famous for their crafted wines and one of my other favourite loves. Thank you. I've got a Napoleon apple cider for you. I've got a great recipe match for this cider, but I'd better hurry as my special guest has just arrived. It's time to kick off the party and sample some of the amazing produce and delights from the Yarra Valley. From honey to fresh fruit, flowers, baked pickies and more. Our party is in full swing and I reckon I've got just enough time to whip up one more showstopper inside before that rain comes to crashing down. My crispy pesto porchetta and falafel green goddess potato salad. And this one comes with a tip to make your pork and falafel extra crispy. Yummy! Who doesn't love crackle? I've promised you a super easy, super impressive recipe to go with our Napoleon apple cider. And I'm going to show you my pesto stuffed roast pork. It's amazing. All right, so I've got 100 grams of Baker's Delight sourdough breadcrumbs that I've zhuzhed up. And I've got my Rose's Gourmet Traditional Pesto. What I love about this pesto is like, made with no preservatives, so you have to find it in the fridge. That's what makes it taste so delicious. I'm going to pop in about half a jar. Mix up our pesto. That's good to go like that. So just a nice crumbly mixture. I've prepared this pork, so I've scored it. So you can see all those lovely scores in there. And wrap the skin around once I cut my pocket in the pork and stuff it. With a small knife, cut a deep pocket into the pork and fill it with the stuffing. Wrap it up and tie it with string. Kind of like a porky Christmas present. Who doesn't love that? Ta-da! Look at that. Perfect. And now, just finish it off with a beautiful drizzle of Batoli Original Extra Virgin Olive Oil. A bit of extra fruity taste. Salt, on we go. Rub that in. Get the salt in the cracks, because the salt in the cracks draws the moisture out of the pig fat, and that will make extra, extra crispy crackling. Now it's ready to go in the oven, but because I am camping, I have another cooking method. Here we have gorgeous rolled pork stuffed with Rose's pesto. This is a ripper. Now, I've got here my air fryer. Great to travel with, great to have at home as well. These things are great. 45 minutes, you've got crispy pork ready to go. While that's happening, I'm going to get my green goddess salad happening. So, I'll clear my plates. Be back in a sec. Does my bum look big in this? Um, but, so. I have made some potatoes, lightly boil these potatoes in my beautiful crumble Dutch oven. Into the pot, toss some fennel, dill, crunchy cucumber and some green beans. From the fridge, I'm grabbing some more Rose's pesto and Paul Newman's ranch dressing. Oh, look at that. The storm is coming and I want to get my belly full before that rain comes, so we're going to get a crack on. Yum! Look at that! That is amazing. Throw in some fresh apple wedges with the skins on, as well as some of Yumi's classic falafels. Such a clever way to add texture to a salad. These are a game changer. They taste so authentic and are so easy to prepare. And that's because they're made with fresh ingredients. And then we're good to go. And after just six minutes, look at that. My yummy Yumi falafels are looking crispy and golden brown. All it needs now are some soft-boiled Sunny Queen eggs together with some pickled shallot. All right. Ready? Woohoo! And there, look at that. Crispy crackling, roast pork. That is what dreams are made of. Roast apples next to it, next to the pork. Who said camping needs to be Slumming it. I love it. Take this little beauty anywhere. Got a roast pork and a delicious green goddess salad wherever you go. 
I'd say that deserves a happy dance. A showstopper meal cooked in the nick of time before the rain arrives.